Hello one and all, I am Pal of Games and welcome to First Thoughts and Fun. Today we are looking at a game called Cuban Star and Arbitrary Love. It's a game which sort of caught my eye and I thought, you know, hey, it looks fun enough, why not try it? So that's exactly what we intend to do. Hopefully it should be a lot of fun. So let's uh, kick it off. So. In essence, the game strike to me quite a bit in terms of the art style and the look and just how it, it sort of reminded me a lot of the De Blob games, if you ever played one of them, in the sense of you're, you're sort of trying to colour the world in as it were. And the way you do this is by collecting a, like a circle as you've seen and then it will change your uh, square to that colour. Now, it will be like a limited time thing, it won't last forever, but it will last for a while. There's also these sort of characters, which will sort of talk to you, and it just surprised me how like, um, just how deep the sort of dialogue was, it just sort of gave character to just more or less inanimate objects, more or less, you know, it's just shapes, it's nothing with a, sort of a face as it were, and so that surprised me quite a bit, that it was able to sort of capsulate stuff like that from like very little in terms of actual it being a unique character persona sort of thing. That's what I noticed anyway. I don't know if you'll agree with me, that's my uh, opinion on it. So as you see, I'm sort of going around the world trying to sort of... There's quite a lot of collectibles and stuff to get, which... Uh, always helps you know in terms of the game itself this is basically it but there's a deep amount of story to go into this and i'll try and show this off now but this is the map this is the whole world as it was and you'll you sort of got to go through it all and as you've seen i've barely covered the map at all i've got loads of areas yet to do it's funny because this is almost the first game I've actually sort of played a little of beforehand because I, I couldn't find a screen resolution option basically so I sort of contacted them and they sort of, they've sorted it out now they've put in a screen resolution option which is nice I always like to see stuff like that uh, and let's move on to this which is always nice it's a uh, sort of a log of achievements you can get it sort of gives the game a bit more purpose so you can sort of cross them off as you go sort of so you know sort of give yourself little tasks to work towards I suppose rather than sort of having to keep look up the achievement screen this is quite accessible and that's what uh, also uh, immediately strikes me uh, this is sort of the people you've talked to I imagine and it sort of logs all the stuff you've heard from the ancient cube the ancient cube is you I believe and then there's this interesting, uh, the game has its own language and it's your job to sort of go around and decode it through sort of learning it through the tiles in the game. Uh, I'll try and locate one of them hopefully for you within the play so that I can show that off. Once again, you know, we've come across some more people. They've got quite deep dialogue, which you'll notice more and more the further I play into this. I'll probably give you a good demonstration of it. I won't go on too long because obviously I think it's worth you guys checking out yourselves. But yeah, it just it really struck surprised me because I, I played this originally because it just sort of had a nice look about it. And it just surprised me the amount of character they managed to put into this game. It really did surprise me. So it's asked me to go east. We shall do this. 
And the way I think you unlock most of this is due to colour. So you, you, you're sort of having to experiment with colour. There we go. Got Ruby. Oh, and we've done yet another achievement, it would seem. So there we go. We're really coming up with all the achieves. We're really doing well. Sort of go down here a little. Colour them in. And what I think is how it works is that the colours determine mood, I would reckon. I think they might have a thing to do with it. So once again, he's sort of saying the same thing. Hmm. So there we go. We keep getting stuff. We're doing well. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend you check this game out. It's definitely... Uh, a very interesting game. Oh, yet another coin. There we go. It's just, you know, it, it just it's a nice little time sink, and the game has a pretty cool story. It's made me want to actually play it a lot more, just to find out what the story is with it. It seems like, without it sounding negative, it's, it seems quite a short game in terms of you can find out the story pretty quick and then there's like loads of extra side stuff you can sort of work towards afterwards after the fact which is nice I could be wrong in that assumption but that's what I figure with the game uh, I've got to be honest it's it sort of filled a gap I didn't even think I needed filling there you go is this one of the uh, letters? I think it might be. Okay, so that's one of the tomes, and I need to now decode that language to be able to know what it says. And I think that adds to the sort of mystery, the fact that it seems like it's own world, you know. You really do feel like you're exploring it. I feel that, you know, these little nice little touches are really adding to the experience as a whole. Uh, you can check this game out on Disora. Uh, Steam has it as well, so there's definitely a lot of platforms. I will leave links in the description for the game. Uh, definitely worth uh, at least a look at. I uh, hope that this has helped you uh, determine your thoughts on it. Oh, and yet another gem. Here we go. All the gems. So yeah, really uh, cool concept if you ask me. I suppose there's also an amount of strategy to it as to how you approach it. Kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, I think that covers it. I think we've talked about the game in terms of my thoughts on it. It seems almost very different to how I normally, because I normally go into a game not knowing anything, but with this game I sort of did know a bit just due to playing it a little. That almost makes you want to not call it first thoughts and fun with, but we will. We shall call it that. Because, you know, I'm uh, I sort of. For this one off, I've sort of relayed the information, but. I'm not one for doing that. I don't like to do that, because I feel you can impression yourself based on that. It's never a good idea, just when you can easily get your uh, opinion blurred. So here's the uh, joint star as it was, but you've got to sort of help out as far as I remember. Go have a word, why not? Go 
Hello, little one. I have been here for a long time. So let's and just I have give it the old voice acting. Me to move. I am sorry. Hello, little one. No, I have don't been talk here. To I am again. sorry. Hello, little one. I have been here for a long time, and I have not seen anything that would entice me to move. I am sorry. I don't know what we've got to get it to do, but it's a puzzle within its own right, I assume. I think I've uh, covered all I want to say, and I'd be rambling just to carry on more than this. So uh, I think I'll call it here. I've, I've had fun. I hope you guys have uh, been enlightened as to uh, what you, your opinions can be based on this. Uh, let me know below your thoughts. Uh, leave a like if you've liked it. Or generally, if you want me to cover a game, let me know, and I will try and do so. There's another uh, 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 example of the uh, language speakers, as I've come to call them. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching everyone, and...